Hello there, Pisces. How's it going, you guys? It's time for your reading. My name is Kelly. I'll be doing the read. <clears throat> Let's get right into it. I wanted to ask you guys, what do you guys think about me doing these readings a little bit um, later than I've been doing them? I've been doing them like normally, um, like about putting them out by like midnight Pacific Standard Time, but... Um, you know, past few days I've been putting them out, you know, about 1 p.m. So I don't know, that might be too late. Guys, let me know. All right, I'm just kind of playing around with the different times. What's going on with Pisces? I hope you guys are enjoying your day. What's going on? Elhaz. Huh. I like Elhaz Pisces. Elhaz is very, very good. It's uh you see this you see these um these up here? Those are horns. It's like you're protected. This is protection. Alright? So you're definitely protected. And I like that. What else is going on with Pisces? Pertho. Hmm. Pertho is a, it means unknown Pisces. So this is like something unknown. Something unknown is, uh, is coming to you. Something is going to happen that you don't know about. But the good, the good thing here is Pisces is that Pertho is in the upright. And so it's usually very good news. Yeah. Yeah, Pertho in the upright is usually um, finding something out that you didn't previously know that is that is really actually very good. Mm -hmm. And what else is going on with Pisces? Die gas, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you're gonna you're gonna find something out. Die gas here is a torch. This is something that's been in the dark. This is something that's been held from you. This is something that's been definitely in the dark, and it's going to transform your life. This is transformate. This is transformative energy. Yeah, and this is Pisces energy. This is our energy. Mm-hmm. See, Pisces, things are starting to pick up a little bit. I can just feel it. Um, yeah, I can feel it. Pick it up for the better, too, and I like that. Because, you know, we've been through a lot. I mean, all of us, we've been through a lot. <clears throat> Oh, good rune. This is uh, Inguaz. Inguaz is, it's, it's, a, it's very, very, uh, I mean, if you have a really bad read and Inguaz is in it, 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 it evens it out. This is how powerful this rune is. This is very, very positive. It's something that's going to um, propel you forward in, in a very, very positive way. Um, and it's something here that you don't know about yet. Yeah. Hmm. Now, Inguaz can also indicate a healthy sexual relationship as well. Um, if, you, uh, if you own a business... This is very promising because it's procreative energy. It creates. Really good, really good. What else is going on here with Pisces? Hmm. 
Hmm. Menez. Menez. And Menez here is in the middle of the reading, and Menez is talking about, um, you know, it could be like hermit mode. Uh, you know, some of us could be in hermit mode right now. This is like isolation, hermit mode, feeling protected, staying inside to feel protected. Yeah. Um, staying away from the crowd to feel protected. Yeah. But um, now the good thing here about um, Menez in reverse is that, you know, it, it's, it's your character. It's like you've had to do everything all by yourself. You had, this is kind of like, um, you know, receiving no help from anybody really whatsoever and being able to create whatever it is whatever this protection is here for yourself. Uh-huh. Uh hmm. I like that. <clears throat> and what else is going on here with Pisces? So we have uh, Thoracicus. Uh, Thoracicus is in reverse, so that's good. This is the rune you want in reverse, okay? This is somebody else's energy, however, but uh, whoever this person is that uh, you could possibly be dealing with, um, you know, there, there's absolutely, um, I mean, you're safe. In other words, there's no, this person doesn't want to cause any harm, all right? It could be a difficult situation. This person here, uh, whoever it is that you're dealing with uh, could be going through um, a difficult situation for sure. Yeah, let's get another one here. <laughs> Pertho. Pertho, wow. So Pertho here is in reverse. Yeah. And Pertho, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, Pisces, uh, this is Libra energy, but this person here, um, is like experiencing some sort of, uh, it's like the opposite of what you're going through. This person's going through like, you know, like this reminds me of the nine, uh, the eight or the nine of swords. This person is like up in their head. Yeah, they're thinking the worst, kind of. I don't know who this person is. Um, but as you can see here, there's really no danger. And they mean no danger towards you. Um, so th they mean you no harm, I should say. Um, hmm. What's going on with Pisces? Urus. Urus. Hmm. So this person, uh, whoever this person is, they feel that um, that they missed out on a chance with you. Yeah, they feel that they, they've missed out, which they probably have for a lot of us. I feel that... Uh, Whoever this person is, and it can be any sign, Pisces, but whoever this person is, you know, they feel like, um, like they've, you know, lost you. Yeah, and they have, really. For most of us, for sure. So what's going on with Pisces?
Gable. Wow, like Gable. <clears throat> Gable is really a good rune, Pisces. This is blessings, some sort of blessings. Uh, some sort of blessing that's going to keep you protected. Yeah. But I see you creating your own blessings here that are going to make you feel more protected. You're doing it yourself. See, that's the thing. Nobody's giving you anything. You're doing this all by yourself, Pisces. I like that. So let's get some tarot cards. Whoops, there goes my little doggy. <laughs> oh, there he goes. All right. So what's going on with Pisces? You guys can't really see him there. There. Yeah, he's my balloon doggy. <laughs> All right. So what's going on with Pisces? Ah, the magician. See, look at this. The magician. This is this is us. Right here. This is us. Right there, Menez. We're doing everything ourselves. We're creating our own. See the see the infinity symbol on top of his head? This is like infinity, right? This is long term. This is we're creating our own happiness and our own security. This is protection and security, and we're creating it all by ourselves. Why is the magician there? We'll just clarify it real quick. The Ace of Pentacles, yeah, just like I said. Uh-huh. You're creating your own security, your own this is this is you're creating your own pentacles. This is money. Yeah. For sure. This could be through some something very creative that you're doing. Um, you know, Ingwa's here is kind of like, it just kind of, you know, it's, it, the feel from it on this read is, cre it has creativity in it. I just feel that, you know, it, this is not what it means. It doesn't by any means mean creativity, but I'm just kind of feeling creativity coming off of it. So, yeah, because I feel a lot of us are very, very creative. Mm hmm And what else is going on here with Pisces? Hmm, the nine of wands. Or the eight of the I mean the eight of swords. <laughs> I said the nine of wands. Well, you know, keep going, Pisces, for sure. But the the, the eight of swords, huh? Let's get another one on that. What's going on with the with Pisces and this Eight of Swords? You know, I'm kind of like looking at this as somebody else's energy because this is over here, um, Pertho. This is this is exactly what this card means, or this rune means. <laughs> Either or, in a sense. I mean, it it doesn't necessarily mean the same thing, but it's very very they're very very similar. And this is what somebody else is going through right now. Um, and also, too, with Urus here in their, um, in their energy, they just don't have um, the willpower or, or actually even maybe not enough courage to move towards you, um, at least at this time right now. <clears throat> The hangman, yeah. See the hangman. This is uh, this is Pisces energy. This is our energy. Yeah, I feel like this person's kind of like feeling um, stuck. See, look at this. They're feeling stuck. What else is going on with Pisces?
Justice. Wow, I like justice. Justice. So somebody's getting their justice, and, and I feel that we're getting our justice as well, Pisces. We're having our justice too. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. I like this. I think I'm going to leave it at that, but this is really pretty, looking pretty good, honestly. <clears throat> let's pull, um, let's pull one of these out here, too. What's going on with Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? Nothing is yet set in stone all right so just keep going with the flow pisces nothing is yet set in stone and you don't really need to have anything really set in stone because you know that the cool thing about it here is is that you've got um you got menez here and this is something that you're doing all right this is all up to you this is all in your hands you're the magician yeah so, you know, take your time if you need to. There's no rush. What else is going on with Pisces? Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. And that's what we just had, Pisces. We had a full moon eclipse. And, you know, like I said, this full moon eclipse that we just had, you know, we're just kind of like now starting to, you know, feel it. It's just kind of like the beginning of, you know, the feeling of it. All right. All right, Pisces. Here, I want to pull one of these cards, too. These are good. What's going on with Pisces? Simplify life. Life is meant to be simple and easy. Don't let superficial energies distract you from your true essence. Simplicity and purity will lift your spirit. Wow, I like that. <clears throat> so there you go, Pisces. It's pretty good. Um, now we're going to get it here into the birthday runes. <laughs> And don't forget to leave me your, your date of birth, uh, Pisces. You don't have to leave me your year or anything like that. Just just uh, let me know, you know, the month and the day. And it, it really does help me when I do the uh, birthday runes. All right. All right. So anyhow, let's get right into it. Uh, Pisces, we have three birthday runes. The first one we have is Solilo. And it's for Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. So if you're born in between those days, this is your rune. Uh, the next one that we have is Tiwaz. And this is for February, for people, Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. So if you're born in between those dates, um, that's your rune. Right? And then the last one we have is Barkana. And Barkana is for Pisces born March 15th to March 20th, all right? So if you're born in between those dates, that's your rune. Now, also, if you're born on the cusp of, um, like say if you're born the 28th or the 27th, both of these will be your rune. If you're born on the 14th or 15th, both of these will be your rune, okay? So let's get into it and see what's going on. What's going on with Pisces? February 19th to February 27th. Oh, the blank rune. Wow. I didn't expect that. <laughs> the blank rune is the blank rune. Um, yeah. So, as somebody might say, it's an open canvas. Nothing is yet set in stone, just like it said right here. So, it's up to you. Yeah. Awesome. Let's get one of these Irish runes out and see what else. You know, the blank rune can also uh, indicate a decision, so you may need to make a decision, too. We'll know more here when we get another rune out. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces born 
<clears throat> February 19th to February 27th. Cured, cured. Well, I can tell that that is an apple tree. She's got an apple in her hand. Let's see what cured has got to say. And I'm probably uh, pronouncing it wrong, but I'll pronounce it right when I see it in here. <clears throat> Court. Where the heck are you, Court? <laughs> uh, sorry, you guys. You know, I really fixed this book. This book here that I've got, it was falling apart. And I fixed it. Our wish. Um, is that straight? Yeah, it is. Huh. Well, now, doggone it. It's going to make me stop the video and have to go through this so I don't have to waste your time. I really apologize about that. Oh, here we go. Good. Um, <laughs> and I'll show you why, because... Pisces, look at this, it's, it, it's called court, but it, I mean, they're spelling it different in the book than they are on the card. <laughs> so, you know, it, that doesn't help. But anyway, this is, this is the apple tree. And the meaning of this is physical and mental health and rest and wholeness. So yeah, get your, get your rest, Pisces, you know, and, you know, it's also talking about spiritual harmony and, and choices, too, too. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is just talking about physical and mental health, rest, wholeness, spirituality, harmony, and choices. Okay. And so maybe since it says choices, you know, I see a blank rune right here. And blank rune can mean choices. So there's a choice that you need to make. Let me read what it says here about court. These positive outcomes typically come after suffering pain or sadness. It represents a deep connection with the universe and is a reminder that you matter just for being yourself. You don't need to prove yourself through productivity or hard work. It's okay to rest, slow down, and not actively do something. Alternatively, you can Alternatively, it can be associated with the need to make a choice. Hardships, yeah. You may have some sort of hardships or something. You may have some sort of a choice to make, Pisces. Yeah. So, and I can see that, you know, thoracic is, this is a difficult situation. Like I said, I just, I know we've been through so much. Yeah, we have. Let's get one of these shadow cards here. I better go. Oh, okay, good. These shadow cards have really strange uh, <clears throat> old school English words on here that, um, you know, some I'm not really familiar with. It's really kind of, uh, <laughs> they're different. They're cool cards though. So what's going on with Pisces? Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. Okay. So this one I can read just fine. And this is uh, self-doubt. All right. In the shadows, deep fears and doubt creep a splendor haunting where, cur where courage st steeps. Where courage sleeps, sorry. <laughs> I got I got my magnifying glass, guys. <laughs> They're so small. In the shadows deep, fears and doubts fear and doubt creep. A spectacular haunting where courage sleeps. Alright, so yeah. Don't don't doubt yourself, Pisces. Yeah. That's a shadow card, by the way. So yeah, don't doubt yourself. I like that. Let's pull one of these cards too. One of these mystical, you know, 
I'm going to step up these birthday readings here uh, in the future, I think. They kind of like, um, it narrows things down. What's going on with Pisces? Born on February 19th to February 27th. Don't give up. It's okay that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some of the best moments in life happen during and after hard times. Keep believing. Yeah, that see? There you go. I like that. Really good. Really good one. What's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th? Ah, the sun. See? <laughs> the sun's really good, Pisces. Yeah. It's like the best one in the whole witch in the whole witch rune set. And it's talking about breakthrough. It's it's you're gonna have a breakthrough. Um it's also talking about uh, good news. See, good news. What I say, good news. Mm-hmm. And vitality and healing. And what did we say about this over here? Taking care of your health, healing. Wow. So there you go, Pisces. I really enjoyed that. Let's get right here into the next rune. I hope you guys did too. <laughs> And the next rune here is Tiwaz. This is for Pisces born February 28th to March 14th. All right, so let's get into that. February 28th to March 14th. So what's going on with Pisces? February 28th to March 14th. Hagelez. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Hagelez. Hagelez is something shocking. And it's also something that you can't really control, Pisces. It's just something that's going to happen that's going to shock you. Um, <clears throat> and it's not It's not a bad shocking. It's a good shocking. Hagelez, um, here it is right here. Hagelez is talking about... Um, and it always says it. The, the advice of Hagelez is always that you cannot control what other people do, but you can always control what you do. All right? So something um, shocking is going to happen here. Something um, coming your way. Uh, it could be shocking, shocking good news because this is talking about uh, something unknown. So whatever it is that you don't know, it's going to shock you. All right? Let's get one of these Irish runes out here, too, and see what else. What's going on with Pisces born February 28th to March 14th? Coal. Coal. Hmm. Well, let's see what coal has to say. Or coal. I think it's pronounced coal. Coal. Here it is. This is the hazel tree. <clears throat> and the meaning of this is enlightenment, knowledge, <clears throat> creative inspiration, dreaming, rituals, competence, and practicality. All right. And this is one of the luckiest runes in the set. Um, and it's talking about the knowledge that you have is believed to have directly emerged from nature. It's believed that we can understand this wisdom by using five senses. And what that means, Pisces, is it's talking about your ability to use your intuition and, 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 do, and move things in the right direction. Um, and it's a natural ability that you have. It's very, very lucky, uh, too. So, yeah, this is definitely something uh, that you don't see. Uh, that's going to pop out and be very shocking. It's good news, though. It is. Okay, let's get one of these um, shadow cards. <laughs> Grab my little magnifying glass. These are pretty hard to see, and they kind of... they. Um, 
Yeah, they're different. What's going on with Pisces? Born February 28th to March 14th. Mirror. Mirror. Self-examination, understanding, and acceptance. Well, that one I can see just fine. That's a cool-looking card, isn't it? Wow. I like that. Awesome. Let's get one of these cards here, too. So what's going on here with Pisces? So on February 28th to March 14th. The spirit of love. The spirit of love. Don't search for true love for it will find you. If you just hold on to who you are, the world already loves your essence, so don't change it for anyone. Wow. That's a good one there, guys. I like that. <laughs> All right, let's get one of these um, witch runes here. So what's going on here with Pisces on February 28th to March 14th? Ah, so this is female energy. You could be dealing with a female or this could be your energy, Pisces. All right. All right, you guys. It's time for, the, I hope you guys enjoyed that, by the way. <laughs> say, okay, guys, so it's time for this last rune here. And this is um, Barkana. This is for Pisces, born March 15th. To March, March 15th to March 20th. So what's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Wang Yu. Ooh, Wang Yu. You guys might not be the. You guys might not be um, having a really happy time right now, Pisces. See how weird the energy is. Um, yeah, I can feel that over here with this Pertho. <clears throat> but uh, I think what the most important thing here is, is that even if you are feeling a little bit down, um, the main thing here is to look at things very positive. And when I see Menez right here in reverse. This is kind of like talking about, um, you know, isolation, like the hermit card, like, you know, um, thinking about things, thinking things through um, and not making any important decisions right now. So, you know, I think for you guys, you know, it's very important for you to not make any any decisions right now. Okay, just, in other words, just flow, go with the flow, all right? And this Wang Yu here doesn't necessarily mean unhappiness, but it definitely does mean that, um, uh, that you need to, uh, you know, not make any major decisions right now at all, all right? And, and keep, keep an open mind. So we'll know more when I... When I pull one of these rings out here, what's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? New one. Well, you know, it's just, this isn't really that bad of a deal, really. Not with new one. New one, you know, talks about possible difficult times, but it's not really that bad. <laughs> okay. And I know it's not because I see Pertho here. That, that tells me it's not that bad. So that makes it nice. Um, this is the ash tree here. And this is really good. It's a very positive card. It's talking about transitions. And so that's what you're going through. You're going through a transformation right here. You're going through some sort of transition, uh, Pisces. And it hasn't been really the easiest one for sure. But it's also talking about renewal and feminine energy and growth and the pursuit 
uh, of, you know, and also, um, let me just read it. Um, growth, peace, supportive, friendship, and destiny. So, you know, it's really a pretty good uh, card. You've got friendships there and you've got some de good, some, some destiny coming to you. You just don't see it yet. <clears throat> Struggles and challenges are a natural part of life, and it is essential to accept that these are obligatory to improvement and growth. So, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, it's, it's, it's going to help you grow. New and symbolizes a get-together of friends and families and communities for a specific purpose. Ash tree represents a destiny, but represents destiny, but doesn't mean you are bound to a certain route. Rather, it shows a unique path that is especially for you. And boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become more aware <clears throat> of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you want the most, Pisces. Yeah. You are creating the life that you want the most. Look at the magician. See the magician over here? Yeah. This is what it's telling you. Um, and just don't do anything... Um, you know, if you can if you can get out of that hermit mode, you know, you can go out and spend some time with some friends or something or some family. Um, just don't make any big decisions right now. Now's not a good time. That's why Wong Yu's here. Okay. Let's get one of these shadow cards here for you guys. <clears throat> What's going on with Pisces? For March 15th to March 20th. Yeah, I sure I'm glad I'm doing these birthday runes because the energy is so weird that it just, you know, you can see the big difference between um, between us in the in the birthday runes. What's going on with Pisces born March March 15th to March 20th. Cauldron and I'm going to have to pull my magnifying glass out to see that. <laughs> Intention, acclimate, and manifestation. Wow. Really cool looking card though, isn't it? So this is a very good card. This is a shadow card, Pisces. And you know what? This is something that you don't see because it is a shadow card and it's not bad. It's not bad, not at all. No, 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 very good. <laughs> and what else is going on with Pisces? <clears throat> Born March 15th to March 20th. Forge a new path. When you make new choices, you create new results. Let go of old patterns and embrace the power of pos the power of possibility. You are fully supported. There you go. Bam. You're supported, Pisces. Yeah. Let go of that stuff that makes you feel icky. All right. Make sure make sure and let go of all that stuff that makes you feel icky. And a lot of that stuff that makes you feel icky is in the head. And you got to get rid of that. Let me see. Let's get one of these here, too. What's going on with Pisces born March 15th to March 20th? Romance. Ooh. So romance, for some of you guys, for sure. This is talking about uh, romance. Um, love. It could just simply be love. If it's not romance, it could be some sort of love as well. Uh -huh. But it's definitely uh, pointing to passion. All right? And, uh, you know, passion doesn't necessarily have to come with... Uh, doesn't necessarily have to come with uh, romance, passion. You can have a passion for something, you know, that you do create creatively. 
But, you know, when it does say romance and passion, then I see Ingwa's. This is, you know, this is passion. This is, you know, could be a very, um, it could be a very good, you know, healthy sexual uh, <clears throat> relationship for sure. But anyhow, there you go, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. If you haven't, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. And by the way, let me know, you know, what times are best for you. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Pisces. See you, see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.